Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. Welcome to the next video in our nervous system regulation universal law series, where we're going through my favorite tool to regulate my nervous system as my business grows, as my life changes, you just go through life stuff, right? Which is understanding universal law and how it works and how to use it in conjunction with your brain. So my name is Amanda Abeya. For those of you who are newer to the Facebook group or uh, perhaps haven't seen me in a while and we are reconnecting, thank you so much for being here. And once again, thank you so much to those of you who have been responding to our poll in the community Facebook group and also in the DMs. It's been very, very helpful for me to see who's in the group, where they're at in business, what their challenges are, so we can start creating some more free trainings around that. Now, of course, everybody needs mindset at all times. doesn't matter whether you are at zero, like some of you are, and you're just exploring different options. doesn't matter if you're selling for somebody else. doesn't matter if you work for somebody else. doesn't matter if you are at six figures. doesn't matter if you're at seven figures. Everybody could always use mindset, which is why we're doing this series. We're also doing this series because there's a lot of talk about nervous system regulation lately. And um, I've spent years <laughs> uh, really trying to understand these spiritual concepts and also, you know, how the brain works. So what we're going to be talking about today is we're going to be talking about the law of perpetual transmutation, which is really, really, really cool. Um, in terms of understanding energy and how it works. I mean, it's pretty trippy. This one's pretty trippy once you really understand. I'm very excited to share it. Now, why are we talking about universal laws as it pertains to nervous system regulation? There's been a lot of talk about nervous system regulation in online businesses. There's been a lot of talk about energy management. There's always been talk about mindset and stuff like that. And there's this very interesting thing happening that I'm seeing happen more and more every other day on social media, and I'm very excited about it which is the fact that you have a lot more women entrepreneurs who are pushing back against this idea of, I have to run myself into the ground in order to make money. They're really pushing back against it. Every other day, I see another woman entrepreneur who has basically decided to take a step back from her business and restructure things um, and really try to build something that doesn't require so much of her and so much of her energy so she doesn't have to sacrifice her family, so she doesn't have to sacrifice her personal relationships, so she doesn't have to sacrifice um, her other pursuits and dreams and hobbies and desires, which is what's been going on a lot out here. Most coaches out here just tell you to keep pushing for the next thing. The other thing that's going on, and this is something that we have to be mindful of in the coaching space, is that if somebody's talking a lot about nervous system regulation or energy, most of the time people have no idea what the hell they're talking about, which is one of the reasons why I decided to start doing this live stream series because clients were like, Amanda, you know what you're doing, go talk about it. Uh, Justin was like, Amanda, you know what you're talking about, go do it. When I had employees, they were telling me to do it. And I've gotten so tired of seeing spiritual law, neuroscience, like all just all kinds of stuff just get twisted and deformed into a bunch of things that it's not. And one of the things that I want to do is I just want to combine the mystical, the mental, and the practical all together so that people understand how to use these things because they're very powerful tools once you understand the laws of the universe, once you understand how your brain works, once you understand how to use your brain to get what you want, once you understand how your brain tries to keep you safe <laughs> and sabotage you, um, and how we even got there. It's really important to understand these things because sometimes what happens, particularly when you're talking to universal law communities, law of attraction communities, uh, spiritual communities, there's just a whole lot of bypassing that goes on, and I am not for the bypassing. I am for combining all of it because we still live on this planet and we still got to function and operate and play the game on this planet. And one of the areas in which we need to function and play the game is money, <laughs> which is why I'm doing um, this series. So per, um, law of perpetual transmutation basically states energy cannot be created or destroyed. It's in a constant 
state of movement. It is in a constant straight state of transmission and transmutation. In other words, everything is energy. And also you are manifesting all the time, whether you are consciously aware of it or not. And it also states, which is really, really cool. Once you really understand this and how powerful this is as human beings, that the non-physical is moving into the physical all the time. Now, what in the hell does any of this mean? <laughs> well, it's somewhat related to the law of vibration. Remember, law of vibration, vibration says everything's energy, everything exists on a frequency. It's kind of sort of related to that, right? Because we're still talking about energy and its movement. Basically, what that means is that energy is moving all the freaking time. And because we're energy, our thoughts are energy, our beliefs are energy, the results that we want are energy, money is energy, all this stuff is always in constant movement. And you're either using it to move in the direction that you want or you're not moving in the direction that you want. That's why if somebody stays the same, if somebody's like, hey, I'm good, everything's great, I'm fine, I don't want to do anything anymore, it's only a matter of time before they start going backwards because energy is always moving and it's either going forwards or it's going backwards. That's why a lot of times you'll hear things like um, you're either growing or dying literally you're either growing or dying and part of the reason for that is because energy is in constant movement so you're either moving forward or if you stop it's only a matter of time before you start moving backwards because the energy needs to move it needs to go somewhere in terms of money right what does that mean it usually means money needs to be in circulation in order for more of it to come one really interesting experiment we've been doing over here is we have not been denying ourselves any of our desires. Now, if you've heard the story of how I even got into all this stuff to begin with, you know that in the last couple years, um, financially, right, I, I've done a 180. So basically, a couple years ago, I was on the fast track to a million dollar business as a sales trainer, and I collapsed. My brain freaked out. I overloaded my nervous system. I burned out really bad. It triggered ancestral trauma. Uh, to make matters more interesting and more pressure, my dad was in and out of the hospital at the same time. So I was dealing with that. There was like one family health crisis after another while all this was going on. I went through a tough time. And in that tough time, it, it, uh, I had to reevaluate right, my life and what I'd created and what I'd built. And I realized that, you know, I had been living my life, building things based on programming that I had gotten up until that point. Namely, that if you are successful and you work really hard, then you're going to be safe from this crazy world out here. You're going to be safe from men who want to take advantage of you. Ironically, women with a lot of money get taken advantage of a lot by men, but that is a conversation by another time, for another time. Um, you know, you, you can protect yourself from all the evils and crazy things of the world. You can protect yourself from problems. Now, the issue with that was, of course, you know, I ended up with this story of money equals anxiety or success, um, money equals anxiety. So the more money I made, the more anxious I got. Um, and I also, like I said, ended up triggering ancestral trauma from when my family fled communism. So basically, the more successful I got, the more unsafe <laughs> I felt which was the irony of all of this. And in that time, and that's, I'm getting to the point here, in that time, I sought the guidance and the help and the counsel of experts in neuroscience to just try and understand what the hell was going on in my brain because I was like, I don't understand. Like, normally I exercise, normally I'm able to meditate, you know, normally I'm in a pretty optimistic, good mood, uh, normally I'm able to be productive and function and I, I can't function, I can't function, I don't understand what's going on. And, um, and I knew there was something going on in my brain, right? Aside from the normal life pressures that were going on that needed my attention, it was like my brain completely shut down. That's the best way I can explain it. And I, lo and behold, I would come to find out after working with some of these experts in neuroscience, they did not tell me this at the time. They told me much later, like a year later, <laughs> they told me, right? They're like, listen, we didn't tell you at the time because it would have been very unhelpful, but you basically were going through PTSD. That's what happened. You, 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 your nervous system shut down. You triggered a PTSD response, and lo and behold, that's what was going on. And we had to, you know, pull you out of that in order for you to start rebuilding. So in that time that I started rebuilding, I started, uh, like I said, experts in neuroscience. Um, I've also worked with some of the top money 
mindset uh, people like David Nagel. Um, I've trained with him, under him, I should say, um, for a year plus, which is amazing. I'm redoing that program now, actually, uh, with Justin. It's really cool to do it a second time and also do it with your partner. Extra cool. And then in addition to that, last year, um, I actually became a certified holistic healer here in Mexico, where class number one was literally about how the nervous system affects everything. <laughs> um, and also everything is energy, right? And how our cells get programmed and how our brain gets programmed and the fact that the Mayans and the Greeks and the Egyptians, they knew all this stuff, but they may not have had necessarily the terminology or the science that we have now to understand it, but they knew it. They knew it. Um, and they talked about it, but maybe not in the same way that we talk about it now. So that's how we got here, and that's how I got so interested. Um, and for me, regulating my nervous system, nothing does it quite like understanding the laws of the universe, which I know work, and I'm going to give some examples, um, and then... Uh, understanding how to get my brain on board. So then in 18 months, what ended up happening was I completely restructured my business so that it could run mostly on autopilot. Uh, I met the partner of my dreams. I traveled extensively for a year and I moved to Mexico. <laughs> in about an 18 month period, I was able to accomplish um, things that I'd been saying that I wanted for many, many, many years. But the reason I wasn't getting it was because my, my, life, right, and, and the cho choices I had made up until that point weren't really my choices, right? They were choices that had been programmed in me, and then basically at some point, I reached a breaking point at some point, and I'll do another live stream on that, but that's how I got really interested in this stuff. So universal laws, there's seven of them, go find the series. Law of perpetual transmutation, everything is energy. Um, let's get back to that. So everything is energy. And the, the reason why this is so important is because a lot of people don't realize the level of power that they actually have. Um, so I'm going to put this in very, very practical terms. Part of what the law of perpetual transmutation says, as I mentioned, is that there's always something going from the non-physical to the physical. What does that mean? It means that if you have an idea in your head, that's energy, right? And guess what? Another energy put that idea or that desire or that thought into your head. So you have the energy of the idea. That idea is trying to manifest physically through you all the time. Let me give some examples. There are some things that Justin and I have been wanting to uh, manifest, right? In the business and in our careers. And, um, you know, they're pretty big goals, like personal, professional goals that we have. Within a week, <laughs> we already have the opportunities to start capitalizing on that because that's how this law works and it can work really, really fast. And granted, we've been working with the universal laws, we've been using them, we've been training, we've been showing up every single day, we've been keeping our energy high, right, in order to really create this for ourselves and within a week, we have the opportunity to start moving in that direction because it can be that fast, right? I can't talk about it very much now, but when I can, I will. Or another thing to keep in mind is that your energy and the energy in, with, in which you do things um, really matters, right? So for example, I've said this story before, I've been training people on how to sell since 2017. I could give the exact same script and the exact same process to, do dif to two different people. One person nails it, the other person does not. The only difference is their energy. That's it, it's the only difference. Everything else is identical. So what about the energy? The energy might be the image they have of themselves in their mind. The energy might be that they're not consciously seeing themselves succeed in their minds. The energy might be that uh, they're really stingy with money. I'll get back to that. Money needs to be circulated in order for it to keep moving because money's energy and energy is always moving. It might mean that, you know, when they're showing up and doing their job and doing the work and doing the sales calls, they're not in a good energetic state when they're doing it. Now, I'm not saying, right, and, and again, this is where I'm going to call out the community. I'm not saying that, you know, if you don't feel well or if you didn't sleep well or if you have allergies 
or like you're just not feeling it that day or you woke up on the wrong side of the bed that you're like you know I'm just this is what a lot of women do I'm just like not high vibe today and I'm like not really that inspired so like I'm not really gonna do it with the vocal fry and everything I'm just like not really gonna do it or like you know I'm just not inspired today it's just not in alignment today I'm not talking about that because guess what you're human right you are a spiritual being first but you're human you're in this meat sack you're in this meat costume and you know we get very easily thrown off energetically actually if we're not con uh, consciously doing things to keep our energy intact we can get thrown off pretty easily like by allergies <laughs> or not sleeping well or our environment or so on and so forth which is one of the reasons why it's so important to understand this stuff because if you don't consciously work on these things your environment's going to work on it for you <laughs> that's what it's going to do and we're very sensitive so that but in those instances the goal is that you know i'm just like not high vibe today so i'm like not going to do sales activity which is bypassing in that sense what you do is like okay well what can i do right to be in a good energetic state while i'm doing this sales activity do i go do a visualization do i am i mindful of my thoughts did i go out for a walk today did i get some sunshine did i meditate like what are things that i did i take my allergy medication like what are things that you can do to actually feel better and move in the direction of success and this is what pisses me off about a lot of the people who teach these things and i don't think it's them but a lot of people will misconstrue all this stuff right like oh, okay well energy is in constant movement and like i'm not in a in a good energetic state right now so i'm not going to do sales activity that's ridiculous what you do is you put yourself to the best of your ability into the best energetic state that you can so you can move the energy or a lot of times where people get stuck right is there um that's also a lot of vibration by by the way what i just said but like i said the two are kind of related um or the other thing right is if you have an idea fucking execute on it so that it comes into physical reality a lot of people are like yeah you know like some of you have been sitting on courses for five fucking years and you've done absolutely nothing with them <laughs> okay it doesn't it's not helpful just up here in your head doing nothing and it's actually trying to manifest into physical reality but what's happening is that there's probably thoughts and ideas in your head oh it's not safe oh what if i fail oh i need to make sure it's perfect oh i need to make sure to do this right so energy is constantly trying to move from the non-physical to the physical and it's our own brains and our own thoughts and our own beliefs and our own assumptions and the stuff that we're scared of that stops that from happening okay i want you to listen to that again energy so whatever idea you have those of you who've been sitting on a course idea for five years and still haven't done anything with it right you you have this idea in your head but it's useless it's just an idea in your head it's actually trying to move into the physical the universe is literally showing you signs all the time in terms of here's how we can move this to the physical launch the thing email the person um you know hire this person it's literally in front of you all the time because it's trying to move into physical reality all the time because that's how energy works and it's our own thoughts and our own fears and our own concerns and our own made-up stories which is why we have to question everything that goes through our heads basically that stop that process from happening and then what happens if you're not growing you're dying so you start going backwards that's how this works um that was actually a really good tight little summary on <laughs> on how we sabotage and how we do these things to ourselves. And it's really important to remember in those instances that number one, the universe is trying to give you what you want. Like I said, there's something that Justin and I have been uh, working on and wanting to create in our careers. Um, and within a week, the opportunity for it literally showed up. I mean, I literally journaled it and I've been scripting it and I've been writing it as a goal every day in present tense in less than seven days. It showed up and like I said, we're keeping that energy high. It doesn't matter if we have allergies, we're doing what we gotta do. We're also taking care of ourselves. We're doing our meditations. We're doing our mindset stuff. If we're scared, we still move in the direction of what it is that we're trying to do, even if we are scared. But that's why we're starting to see results and we're starting to see them very quickly. That is not what most people do. We also constantly question the stories in our head because we understand that babies were only born with two fears, right? The fear of loud noises and the fear of falling. That's it. We're only born with two. 
all the other fears that we have like oh gosh i can't go live on a camera right oh you know i can't i can't do a live stream oh i can't launch this thing oh i can't do sales because i'm afraid of rejection that feels unsafe i have compassion for you i'm not making fun of you at all like we all have all kinds of fears what i'm trying to say is that it's it's all been programmed into us we were not born with them and that's why you have to question everything that goes in your mind and the really cool part is you can change your brain you can change your mind you can make different choices and when you really understand these universal laws which is why i'm doing this series and you start using your brain in alignment with them right epic shit changes very quickly very very quickly it, it can be as fast as you want it to be and it can be as easy as you want it to be the issue is most people choose hard and most people choose hard because we've been programmed into hard. I feel like that's complete. I don't feel like I have anything else to say about this one today. Let's see. We talked about uh, money needs to circulate. So that's that's an idea. Uh, one of the ways in which this energy works and you can make more money. It does not like to be stagnant. People don't save money for the sake of saving money. You save money to invest money. There's a difference, right? Because one keeps circulating the area. Another thing that we've been doing is... um. You know, we have not been um, depriving ourselves of our desires. It's really interesting that when you deprive yourself financially, particularly if you're in a position where you can just make more money because either you run your own business or you're in sales, um, you know, when you're in, in, in that kind of a position and you deprive yourself, it's amazing how like the money just shuts off <laughs> when you do that. It's fascinating. But if you start circulating it a little bit again, um, by letting yourself get that coffee that you want or letting yourself get that fruit bowl or letting yourself get that book and like blessing the money, it starts to show up again and it starts to show up pretty quickly. It's a really fascinating thing. And I'm not kidding. Go try it. It's fascinating. Um, and I've experienced that enough times already to know, okay, yeah. And when I tell you, when I was in the worst of it, in terms of my financial situation, and like I said, we're on the rebound because I, I basically lost everything and started rebuilding my life. And now I'm rebuilding the money. But when I was in the worst of it, it's because there was a lot of guilt and shame. And because there was a lot of guilt and shame, then there was a lot of deprivation. I'm going to have to do another live stream on that eventually, but just let that one sit there for a minute. Um, because that in and of itself, like guilt and shame and deprivation around money and basically anything is a whole other topic I could do a live stream on. And then we also talked about how in the law of perpetual uh, transmutation, like the non-physical ideas, desires, images are constantly trying to move or attempting to move or are actually moving, not even trying to, they are moving into the physical, but it's we're the ones who stop it from happening. We're the ones who stop it. Us humans are the ones who stop that from occurring, even though it's a naturally occurring thing. All right, guys, sounds like a good place to end it. That was a really good recap. I'll see you guys uh, for the next one. Shout out to everybody who's been commenting on the replays on YouTube. Shout out to everybody who's been commenting here in the Facebook group. You guys are giving us a lot of really good feedback that we're able to really make these things very practical, which was the goal. That was the goal I had in mind. So I'm glad that I am succeeding in said goal and I'll catch you guys on the next one.